the, the reason this is the second start of this video is because I got pulled away to speak with another doctor on the phone um, on the first one that we just did just like two minutes ago. So all you people are coming back. Thank you. Um, I, I apologize for being so rude and cutting off in the middle, but sometimes that happens when you get a call from another doctor and you need to talk to them. So um, I was able to take care of the doctor. Uh, everything's good there. And now we can go ahead and start back on wart cryotherapy or using liquid nitrogen to freeze a wart. You see the wart on the finger and it's located about there. A wart is a viral infection that causes the skin cells to produce too much keratin. And you might say, what is keratin, Dr. Vaughn? And Dr. Vaughn would say, it's the stuff in your fingernails. It's the hard protein that skin makes uh, fingernails and hair out of and calluses have a lot of keratin in them. It's great for keeping water out of your skin. Not so great when it's in a big clump like this when you're trying to touch things or, or trying to hold your boyfriend's hand and he thinks it's gross and doesn't want to hold your hand. Um, I keep envisioning too much of it, LOL. Uh, don't envision too much liquid nitrogen. That'll give you brain freeze. Just when I thought the app couldn't get weirder. Okay, so we are going to go fill up the liquid nitrogen thermos with, yeah, I've never done it, but I believe you could. Let's ask Dr. Gwing. Dr. Oh, um, what, I'm sorry, which Perigo was it again? Per <laughs> Some Perigo with uh, liquid nitrogen on the scalp. Um, I've never done it either. It'd probably work. Yeah, You'd probably it'd probably work. You'd probably have a scar and have a bald spot. Oh, so, uh, nodularis. Perigo nodularis. I was going to say, that might be just as well. Okay, so we get liquid nitrogen from a, a, a place we store it called a doer. I don't, <laughs> I don't know if they heard you. And uh, so, hey, actually, can you hold this for a second while I yeah. fill up the thermos? Sure, this is so, so this is what we're going to stick in. You'll, you'll notice that the, uh, the stem we put in has these two copper sleeves Copper is good for holding heat, and so when we stick it down in there, this warms up the liquid nitrogen that then comes up through here. The reason it comes up is because this creates a seal inside of the doer. So you warm it up with this. This keeps a seal, so it starts boiling. Pressure increases up here and pushes liquid up through the spout, and it comes out here into a vacuum sealed thermos vacuum seal as far as around this part of it. It's like a lot of uh, thermoses that people use for their Starbucks or whatever. So there you see, I don't know if you can see that, it's bad lighting, I'm sorry I didn't program the lighting ahead of time, but it's it's a liquid that's coming out here. Um, I'm not demonstrating proper technique by the way, a person should wear a thermal glove <laughs> to protect their hand when doing this. And if I had an employee do it, I would have to be providing such a, a glove for them. So we're just gonna take that out. And you notice we don't seal the doer. We just have that little uh, foam plug that floats and it actually is floating. It's floating on nitrogen that is pouring out of it all the time. If we didn't allow it to do that, it would be a bomb. So that's why we let liquid nitrogen flow freely from the doer. And then this is a really cool little nozzle here. Super tiny, and you can see that when I spray it, spray it, it's just the tiniest little stream there. And so if, if you're having it done to your finger, but we're doing a wart, that's what we normally use. In this case, no, I, I, that's how I scripted it. In this case, and it fell on the floor, you go, oh my goodness, you're gonna put that on a patient that fell on the floor? Watch. <laughs> there is something called cold sterilization, and it's done by going like this. And if you, I don't know if you can see it, but the tip there, the tip there is actually so cold that it has frost all over already. This stuff that we're spraying is lower in temperature than 341 degrees below zero. So that has been cold sterilized, meaning anything bad that could have been on it from when it fell on the floor is now dead and it's not going to hurt a person. And we're not going inside the body, we're just going to put this on from the outside. I'll show you what we're doing. So as we approach room one and knock to let the patient know that we are coming in. Patient, we are coming in. Okay, 
So here's what we're doing. We are going to put the, the probe right. Are you, are you getting great comments? Because you're not telling me. Uh, just two comments. It's two com cool. LOL. <laughs> cool with like five O's. I am LOLing all over the floor. Okay, so I'm putting the probe right on the wart and I'm pushing it in. And then, as you can see, the liquid nitrogen is actually spraying out of the side valve. Does it hurt? Since Does it hurt? It hurts a little bit. It hurts a little bit. She says it hurts a little bit. So it's spraying out, but as it sprays out here, it's it's keeping the tip very cold. Let's see if we can get a better picture. That is so cook. I mean cool. Says Holly. <laughs> okay, and now I'm not spraying, I'm just holding it there for another twenty seconds. It's not really cooking it. Sherry says, a few minutes after it's done, it hurts like heck. Thank you for telling the patient that. <laughs> okay, so now you see kind of a dent oh, there. Some that of these getting theirs done on Friday. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, this, this is good. Taffy. I'm sorry, the place where they pull taffy? Oh, no, that oh that's, that's the name. Okay. So you see it's already thawing out. The, the white is disappearing. And once it disappears completely, we're going to do it again. Because yeah, I use yeah. the freeze thaw, freeze, thaw technique. Yeah. All right, here we go again. So I'm just going to put it there. Yeah, I'm going to line it up, put it back on, and here we go again. Shooting down under the ground. Ooh. On your pants. <laughs> you got to watch where you aim that sometimes. <laughs> Seems painful, LOL. With a bunch of emojis. Is the canister cold, Doc? No, not at all. Not on the outside. It is up here. And this is cold, but inside it's not. How you doing? Okay. I just had to let them. And I'm going to take it away. We're going to see how it looks. Now we're going to let it thaw out. Sweet. What else does she want burned off? Yeah, yeah. We can take off your nose. No, we're not doing that today. So the plan is to not do any aftercare on this at all. It, it, it may blister a little. And you might have to put a band-aid on. Okay, I guess I shouldn't say no aftercare at all. Mi minimal aftercare. Maybe you removed her husband's skin tags with liquid nitrogen. Her husband's what? Skin tags. Oh, oh, that's what that was. So uh, it gets very red around here as the body tries to warm it up by having the blood vessels in that area dilate and let lots of blood flow through there. But it's too late because those cells have been killed. And what we're talking about are the cells that have the wart virus in them in this area. So it's going to heal up. Uh, there'll be probably be a blister there from the frostbite. Why and then, no oh, because it won't need it for, well, you can, but it won't need it for at least a full day. Okay, we have to get out of this room. So we're going to finish the talk in the office. Yeah, we'll, we'll leave this room so they can use it. Is there increased risk? So what I'm going to do is, is pour in the, um, the liquid nitrogen that we didn't use back into the doer. Oh. But first I have to remove the, uh, the nozzle. Actually, you guys can see I'm taking the nozzle off. It does have frost on it. As you can see, it comes off. And then we will sterilize it. We do sterilize them between patients. Man, lots of hearts. Okay, now to... Can somebody turn this and remove it for me? Here, can you get that? Because I have one hand. What? Just tr twist off the top. Yeah. You, come on. Strength. <laughs> strong. 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 Use your muscles. <laughs> do, do, you need, do you need Dr. Gwaine to help you with that? You're getting lots of hearts for not being able to take that off. <laughs> I can get it. Let's, let's hand it to somebody with bigger muscles than you. All right, and then this, you can see it's just a clear liquid in there, deceivingly innocent looking, and then I'm going to pour it into the doer. Do not drink. Should say do not drink, not a morning beverage. 
and then just turn that enough that it's not going to fall off when we pick it up. Increased risk of thin flesh area like knuckles. Uh, you can get problems over extensor surfaces as we call them, meaning places that bend. And uh, so we'll, get, we'll take care of that later. You, you can get SS from the way it heals, but it usually improves greatly over time. The other thing I was going to say as far as follow-up is we get them back in about a month to six weeks to see how it looks. And oftentimes there'll be a little bit of wart that still needs to be frozen off a second time, rarely a third time. Uh, and, and we can even keep doing it indefinitely, but <laughs> it's not desirable to keep doing it over and over. You want to get rid of the wart. Uh, other techniques could be used would be just simply numbing it up and cutting it out. My goodness, Latina Fusion just now joined us. You missed the show. Um, any other questions here before we wrap up about wart cryotherapy? Does it work to remove calluses? It, okay, that, I'm glad you asked that because the keratin insulates against temperature. And that's why we can't just spray liquid nitrogen onto the surface of the wart because you can't get it really cold deep down where the cells are that you want to kill. So that's why the probe was used in this case to push down deep and to keep the temperature locally cold instead of spraying all over the superficial surface. So that's why calluses don't respond real well to it. And that's why I use the probe in this particular case. Using the probe on a regular callus, uh, if it's much larger than that probe, is not going to remove the callus. For calluses, it's more a shaving uh, treatment to help shave them down. And the same holds true for acne, right? I don't use cryotherapy for acne. I'm sure there's some people who do, but uh, there's other treatments for acne that I recommend. And we, we go over that quite often, although we won't do that right now. Uh, can you give wart to someone if holding hands? Yeah, the, the virus can be transmitted from contact, so that can happen. And in fact, people who have these uh, warts, they, they do have the virus in their body and it can come back later or in another part of the body uh, some other time. And they do come and go on their own. That's why I'm not quick to treat warts. And in fact, e even to this patient, I presented the option of home treatment with just uh, Compound W or Tinamed, one of these liquid uh, salicylic acids that you just brush on twice a day and then wash uh, your, your hands before you put it on the next time or whatever the body part is. And then rub off the, uh, the dead keratin. And usually it takes a few weeks for you to get real big piece to kind of peel off and then you can keep going even deeper to get rid of the the deeper part of the wart infection or the viral infection oftentimes that first time it peels off is all you need though especially with a smaller wart so that's wart cryotherapy for you guys uh, if you want to see a better produced video on it you can find one at the Auburn Medical Group YouTube channel do any antivirals work on warts there may be some benefit to using uh, antivirals on warts, but I, I don't know of it having effect on that. I think the place where you'd look is people are being treated with antivirals for other things and see if they are uh, having warts resolve, but I, I'm sorry, I don't have knowledge of that. I haven't read the literature on that. Do you use adult locks and those sorts of things on... Uh, Podophilixin? Uh, on genital warts. That's an antiviral? That's not an antiviral. Dr. Gwain's saying something, but it's not antivirals. So again, thank you for joining us. Uh, swipe right to follow and share with your friends, and we'll have some other cool stuff from the world of medicine for you, and maybe we'll even have some Ask Dr. Vaughn sessions. Until next time, this is Dr. Vaughn telling you to stay in good health.